in this problem, we have the 20 minute unit hydrograph. So when I say 20 minute unit hydrograph, it means that delta T is equal to 20 minutes. And these are the ordinates of the unit hydrograph for this 20 minute unit hydrograph, right? We do have this and we can draw the unit hydrograph. What we are going to do in part one or part A is to verify if this hydrograph given to us is a unit hydrograph. How do we verify that? We know that a unit hydrograph is generated because of one unit of rainfall excess, right? If you have one unit of rainfall excess, that's gonna generate your unit hydrograph given over here. So if you calculate the area under this hydrograph over here, the value of this is going to be one unit. We are working with SI units over here. So we are going to, first of all, draw this hydrograph over here, and then the calculate the area under the hydrograph. If it's equal to one centimeters, it means that this is a unit hydrograph. All right, let's do that. What I'm gonna do is, first of all, draw a unit hydrograph for you. So I'm gonna pause the video, draw it, and then resume the video. All right, these are the points representing the unit hydrograph. Now I'm gonna connect them to each other. So this is the unit hydrograph that I have given to me over here. Notice that the units for the flow is going to be cubic meters per second and the unit for time is going to be minutes. All right, we are going to verify that this is um, a unit hydrograph by calculating the area under the hydrograph. Okay, how do we calculate the area under the hydrograph? We are going to use numerical integration. So we are going to divide this hydrograph into different sections. For example, this section, we're gonna consider this section as a triangle and calculate this area. And then we are going to calculate the area of the next section as a trapezoid, for example. Next section would be over here. Again, another trapezoid will calculate this area. And then summation of all these areas all the way to the end to this teeny tiny small uh, triangle over here would be the area under uh, unit hydrograph using um, numerical, num numerical integration. So the area under unit hydrograph is equal to. I'm gonna go ahead one by one from this geometry to the next one all the way to the end. For example, the first one is going to be a triangle. So it's gonna be its height times its width divided by two. Its height is one over here, one cubic meters per second times its base, which is 30 minutes divided by two, plus the next geometrical shape is a trapezoid. So I'm gonna calculate the area of that. It's going to be one plus three divided by two. Times 30 minutes, which is right over here. All right, so on and so forth. This goes all the way to this point. One thing that you should not forget is the units for time over here, they're different. This is seconds and this is minutes. So we need to multiply this bracket by the conversion factor. One minute to 60 seconds. Perfect. All right. Once you calculate that, you have the area under uh, your unit hydrograph. I'm going to take a look at my notes. It's going to be 19,980. The units for that would be cubic meters. All right. This represents the volume of direct runoff, the volume of unit hydrograph, right? So since we have the watershed area, we wanna know what is the rainfall excess 
that is uniformly distributed over, over watershed area, right? So we need to divide this by the watershed area. So to find rainfall excess, we'll have this number divided by watershed area. Two is in squared kilometers. I'm going to multiply it by 10 to the power 6 to convert it into squared meters. All right, so this will give me approximately 0 0.01 meters of uh, rainfall excess, which is equivalent of 1 centimeters of rainfall excess. When I calculate the area under this unit hydrograph, divided by the area of the watershed, it's one centimeters. That tells me that uh, the, the rainfall that generated this hydrograph was a unit, was one unit. And we verify that this hydrograph is a unit hydrograph. All right, in the second part of this problem, we are going to estimate the direct runoff hydrograph for a rainfall that has the delta T of 20 minutes and the depth of two centimeters. So this delta T matches the delta T for our unit hydrograph, which is good. P for us is two centimeters. This is the review of what we talked about. So whenever we have a rainfall that has the depth of P, the only thing that we need to do is to take that P, multiply it, by the ordinates of the unit hydrograph. We do have the ordinates of unit hydrograph over time from zero to 300. We just need to multiply them by number two, which is our P over here. So in other words, we are going to have Q or flow for a rainfall that has the depth of two centimeters. So the first one would be zero times two, zero. One times two, is equal to two. I'm going to go ahead and do it for all of these rows. All right, now that I have all of these values, I can show you how the storm hydrograph for a rainfall excess of two centimeters and the duration of 20 minutes is going to look like. I'm going to show it over here. All right, so these are the dots, and if I connect these dots together, I'll have the hydrograph looking like this. Perfect. So this is the hydrograph. This is Q for delta T of 20 minutes and rainfall excess depth of 2 centimeters that was derived from a 20 minute unit hydrograph that we have over here. You can see that how beautifully you can derive different um, direct runoff hydrographs, hydrographs from your unit hydrograph.